want to, you know, believe God with you, you know, you know, even when you are watching this testimony and you feel that you need, you know, someone to stand with you, you can reach out to us. You know, you see my email right there mm -hmm. uh, on the screen the and number. the phone numbers, you know, you can call, contact me at any time and I will not hesitate. The That's prayer right. of faith yeah. shall save the sick. Yeah. And, you know, the scripture says again, that the, uh, the, the fervent prayers yeah, of the righteous man are valid. So you need to develop faith in God. You need to be inspired by the power of prayer, which is what God is showing through this testimony. Yeah. And don't give up. No matter what, you see, God told me that it ain't over until he says it's over. That's right. You know. That's so right. don't just give up. But thank God that she didn't give up. That's right. She didn't yield to those uh, uh, scary, you know, uh, reports, uh, reports <laughs> yes. from the doctors, you know. Yeah. But instead, she she chose to believe the report of the Lord. Yeah. So Davis, you heard a conversation, uh, overheard a conversation with one of your nurses. Um, what was that all about? Nurses that attended to me there for those three ten days different nurses, uh, two of them were having a conversation in my, in, in the room, and uh, they all asked, you know, they just started asking each other, how do we describe mm -hmm. this, this man's case, Davis's case? And they, in, almost in unison, they said, amazing. Right. Then I wow. called one of them when I had the chance to, to talk to her closely, an African-American nurse, I asked her, do you really believe Okay, you said amazing. And I said, look, that is the name of the ministry God gave me. <laughs> amazing grace. I'm happy that you recognize that this is the grace of God and it's amazing. You see, you see, whatever God does is wonderful. Yeah. It's marvelous in our sight. So I said, oh, do you believe in prayer? She said, well, I used to believe a little. Yeah. But now that I've seen this, I think I believe more. Wow. <laughs> you guys God. keep on praying that it works. Right. That's what she confessed. Right. And uh, you can share a little bit with her, you know, mm -hmm. how she needs to trust the Lord. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, how else did it affect your, your family, your, your children? I know you have uh, two daughters and a son. Uh, by God's grace, uh, I believe in prayers. I believe spending time with God. That's for me because I believe in God's presence. There is liberty. In God's presence, there is safety. Yeah. All you need is in His presence. And yes. how do you get into His presence? Yeah. Worship, praying, yes. coming with Him. You yeah. know, you're in His presence. Yeah. So by God's grace, we've tried to make our family a family of prayers. Yeah. Even that first time at the emergency, when we went to the room, we all joined together in prayer. Yeah. Then when we went again to the hospital, the children saw we were praying. Yeah. We, we went to a detail, we prayed. And then in the house, when I came home from the hospital, we gathered together to pray. Yes. So it's, we pray continuously. Yes. And God took care of the children. So, David, your daughter, your oldest daughter, Edie, fasted and prayed during this time, this 10-day period mm -hmm. uh, when you were uh, attacked in your body. Um, how do you think this affected her and what was her petition before God? My 18th okay. birthday fell on the same day mm -hmm. okay. as her graduation from the high school. Okay. So uh, my wife told me that she fasted and prayed, particularly to have me around. Wow. Because this incident happened at her school, so her principal became concerned, and the principal kept asking her uh, how, how I'm doing. Right. Am I going to be able to be at the, the graduation? graduation? So there was that expectation. Mm -hmm. And so... Later on, I learned that she was praying that I would not only come out of the hospital, but I would be <laughs> at the graduation, which was the, In next, attendance. the next morning, you know. Wow. So I, I, I'm glad, you know, we got discharged. I was able to go to the barber, got, you know, get clean shaven. <laughs> <laughs> that would help, Looked right? a little better, refreshed. <laughs> right. Right. And then, you know, in the next morning, I was still weak, you know. Uh -huh. Now, right. you know, trying to learn how to walk again. Right. <laughs> but I'm glad I was, I was able to make it there. 
And in one of the pictures that she, when she went to shake hands with the principal at the podium, yeah. he, he asked again, is, is your daddy here? Wow. <laughs> I was happy when she, was, she told him wow. I was able to make it. Wow. And that night was when we had uh, a get together with friends and family members. Yeah. You know, just to thank God, you know, for what he has done. Right. And then Edie, you know, we also prayed for her for her birthday. Oh, celebrated her good. birthday. Wow. I yeah. mean, for her it was a double celebration. <laughs> testimony, I would uh, request that you uh, pray for our view viewing audiences, those folks out there that uh, have uh, dead situations, things that seem like there is no life, no hope, no possibility of restoration. Could you pray uh, at this time? Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say again that the scripture says the prayer of faith shall raise, you know, save the sick, you know. And if you, if you are sick, if you have any problem, you know, you should go to the elders. Call on people, you know, to stand with you in prayer. Let us bow. And first of all, the first miracle that anyone would uh, receive from the Lord is the miracle of, uh, salvation. of salvation, the miracle of being born again. Well, in my situation, it looks like being born again, you know. Yeah. God has given me a second chance, you know, a new beginning, a, a fresh start. That can happen to you spiritually, you know, by you praying and confessing to God your sin and believing that, you know, He is able, you know, to restore you uh, in faith. So let's pray that prayer first. Then I'll pray, you know, for God's intervention in your life. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For this moment of sharing this miraculous testimony yes, God. of your power and intervention in the life on earth. Yes, God. Father, Lord, mighty God, I thank you because you so love us. Yes, God. That you sent your only begotten son, Jesus, who, who came in, you know, and gave his life so that we can live. Yes, God. And so, Father, I pray for everyone that this moment are watching this program that have not yet given that their life to Jesus, that have not yet confessed and asked him into their life, that, Lord God, as they confess with me, just say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I surrender my life into your hand. And, and I ask you to come in and be in me. Come in and take control of my life. Come in and be my Lord and Savior in the name of Jesus. If you pray that prayer, just believe. The Bible says with a confession, with our confession, and with... Um, you know, with our mouth we confess, and with our heart we believe unto salvation. And that they that call it on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Just because you call on his name, believe that you are saved. And I want to pray for that situation that you think is impossible, is dead, for God to intervene. Father, I pray. And I join my faith with my wife and Rose and everyone that believes to ask for your intervention in that life. That. To ask that you will bring restoration and hope back to that person, that man, that woman, that child that might be lying in the hospital that has been given, you know, uh, 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 the last notice of when, you know, they, they, they're going to pass on. That, Lord, you're able to intervene. If you intervene in my life, you can do it for them. So, Lord, we ask, oh Lord, in faith that you will turn around, Almighty God, what the enemy meant for evil, for good. Give them a reason, O oh Lord, to rejoice. Give them a reason, O oh Lord, to celebrate and to declare that you are good. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ, and the word of our testimony. It is our hope that David's testimony will help you to build your faith and to inspire you to trust in God in every situation. Thank you for watching. Until next time, may the grace of God be with you always.